Hi everybody, this is Bruce with Dabowski Studio. Thank you for joining me for this final day five of the painting challenge. The whole experience has been very interesting. I learned a lot. And this piece I used a limited palette like I have in others. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for checking it out. I invite you to subscribe. Check out more cool content uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, everyone else, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Dabowski Studio and my website www.dabowskistudio.com. Okay, here's the palette I'm going to be using today. We have on the left, of course, titanium white, ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. I do anticipate with the uh, little bit of sheen and kind of greenish tone to the uh, ice there. I might have some trouble with the yellow ochre, but I'm going to rely on hoping to nail the values, and it should be fine. Um, could potentially introduce a phthalo color, but yeah, we'll try this out and see what happens. Okay, here we go. This is going to be uh, interesting uh, since this is the last of my challenges here, and I'm just getting going to select a brush brushes I want to play with here. Put some out to have quick access to, and we're going to get rolling. Going to try to mix as much without uh, getting into using medium. Uh, so I'll just be using terps if I need a little, uh, what would you call it, wetter paint. But I'm going to just try to go for it here. Mixing up a little blue, sienna. And this, in my, my, um, in my scene, there's a little road that's actually back here. I'm just making this like a landscape. So just going to cut where I want. Marking my watch. Can't forget to do that. My last 20-minute challenge. I find I like using the side of my brush, kind of really kind of getting into that. Really not cleaning, I just dip into more color that I might want to darken something. I'm trying to more get uh, some paint layers on there. And in the real time of this video, there may be parts where I'm not talking. We'll have to interject some voiceover because I'm really, I really want to try to get into nailing, trying to get everything in there in my time limit that I self-imposed. And just going to kind of like the, of course, the dark patches of reflections on top of the pond where there's a little bit of watery ice and such. I'm going to see how far I can take this big brush. Should I just probably be more impressionistic? Not sure. We'll find out as I go along. Uh, I'm really liking, like I said, the water. And I want to try to It's pretty well designed in the shot. I do like some effects that I have there. Just got to be careful. Just getting a light area of white over here. Now I'm going to get some discoloration that you have where the darker tones so get back into some umber umber some uh, sienna and the ultramarine blue I want to get some of this reflection in there going into some yellow ochre blue Touch of white. A 
A little more yellow ochre, touch of blue. Trying to get that sort of silvery sheen that you get on ice in the winter on ponds. Hey, I think this uh, yellow ochre might work out well enough. And as the edges, some, near some of the edges, it shifts in temperature and edges of the uh, reflection there. Kind of liking that. And in the very foreground, very front here, So far, just dipping into uh, using these two brushes, size 4 Signet uh, Bristle Brush, size 2 Princeton & Company uh, Flat, Long Flat. It's a nice area here, switching, wetting just a bit, dampening the excess turp off. Going for that silvery greenish tone for the very front here. There's going to be no organized shapes in terms of uh, neatness and design necessarily, so you got to kind of might have to pick and choose where you pick from. But how this along the edge of the pond plant and pull there. Liking that a lot. And might initially be too dark. But I'm going to stick with it for now. I can always lighten it. If I get it too light and try to darken it, then it could be trouble there. So, a little too, a little more blue. And I hopefully have time to do some uh, edge control. Like at the very end, try to clean up some edges. And planting where I want that white snow on top of the ice. I'll worry about finessing edges in a moment. Switch to my smaller brush here. Trying to shape this snow bank sort of over here. Kind of making up some background a little bit. Going to knock in some sky. Touch a warm warmth to it. Just getting some color notes in there to try to figure out what I'm going to do with the background. Now um, I'm going to mix up a little color. We're working on 10 minutes right now. I'm working on uh, going to mix up some of that background there. Get some umber. Uh, umber. I keep calling it umber. Sorry. Some ultramarine blue. A little yellow ochre. Just a touch of sienna. Temper it a bit. Going to do some of those uh, trees in the background. Try to have some individuality to them because they are like uh, white pine. 
And in this painting, I'm going to do these first. In the past, of course, if I had too much sky in there, then we get pasty when uh, I try to cut the tree. So doing a little different this time. Trying to... And while that's not going to be perfect, then I clean it up with the sky afterwards to create my more interesting shapes. Can't get too crazy because... It is a small painting. Get the paint on there pretty thick from the get go. So it's not going to be perfect that way. And we do have some shadow snow like underneath the trees there. So get into my ultramarine blue. Mixed it with a little bit of the silvery green from This water here, uh, ice. Just gonna suggest areas of uh, snow and shadow. And then when I do the vertical tree trunks, that should look pretty good. Getting there. I'm liking the overall tonal effect right now, even though there's really no detail. I'm going to knock in the tree trunk. And it blows out of the scene. And try to get its lyrical quality. It's right by the edge there. And of course at its base, you have darker discoloration, the way it, it grows. Of course it's mixing with the white paint a little bit. Might have to go into a finer brush, picking up just stronger ultramarine blue and sienna. touch here and there and there's some spots that in this size for the piece shouldn't even probably mess with but I did get my tree trunks one stroke for a, a limb maybe two for one in shadow but Pick up more paint because I've pre-mixed paint. Let's get some of that sky cut around the pine trees, dancing around a little bit. I'm at uh, 14 minutes. I'm gonna try to be decisive about. Pick up more paint, cut in, cut in, it's not going to be perfect, you know, the size of this painting is very tiny of course, so even though I'm using a smaller brush I don't expect too much control, not, yeah I'm not really, it's not that big a deal. But the key here is uh, we got a little wispiness obviously in the birch and I thought by putting it on like this like I did I can then dirty it up with a little bit of sky paint to suggest the <coughs> ethereal quality <coughs> excuse me to the uh, leftover little bits of leaves on the tree. Thinking uh, impressionist as I dot around here, pull in a stroke, cut around a tree, more sky color, back up here, if I can just get me some uh, 
nice color notes, then I can finesse the edges afterward, like after your session. Because you're going to be studying this if you're painting on site, so you would know where your edge control needs to be. You can study the painting away from the subject. Now we come into the trees to put the wispiness of the birch. So now I'm going into my dark mixture I used to put the trees in. And we're going to let that wispy effect go down here, but a little darker because the trees are behind there. Snow back here. Trying to create that effect. Not going to be great. But hey, you know, it's interesting. Some bushes. Let it dirty up the white a little bit. Connect to the background snow line, which is nice effect. You can always bring in a little more at the base. I haven't cleaned my brush yet. Uh, going to sometimes you get a darker limbs we are at 17 minutes got to knock in some uh, snow try to define some areas around just a touch of yellow ochre to warm the foreground snow a bit. Cut around my grass with little spots basically. I'm just kind of laying a spot, brightening it up a bit. Trying to suggest the effects around the wispiness of the leaves of the of the birch. Kind of liking that. Now I gotta do some cooler blue, lighter tone of snow back along. Try to bring this background out a bit in just parts. And I'm gonna try to Knock in a few tree trunks in the distant tree line. I may actually get something halfway decent out of a 20 minute mark here. We're going to see. I'm hoping. Wish me luck. Let's get some limbs in here. Suggestive. Take my handy dandy little tool. Not sure I'll work on this size. Pull up into the wet paint a little bit and back down. Create limbs. Awesome. Okay, I'm at 20 minutes. I have to stop. Okay, this is what I have after uh, 20 minutes. I really like the uh, color notes. I obviously have to work some more on the reflection of the trees into the uh, little bit of wet water on the ice, pool, pool of water, but it really has that effect of the time of day and the mood of the day. And there's the reference photo. 